Good evening. Would you believe me if I told you that I finished my F5 amplifier? Pat on my back. It's only been almost a year. Um, I, I would have to say I love the amp. I spent a long time on this thing. I spent, um, I would say a lot of money, maybe? I mean, I'm going to estimate about $1,000 for a 25 watt amplifier class A. But it's my favorite amp. I'm going to say it's better and more liked by me than my Mini Elves. And I love my Mini Elves. However, this thing measures good and sounds good. I've been listening to this for about three weeks. And I just got time to finish it up. So inside, it is completely done. The only thing I really have to do is push up the faceplate just a little bit so that way it's flat with the front, but that's minor. But the amplifier, I could physically take it into the other room and use it. So uh, I've already done all the measurements and stuff of that, so now I'm just doing the intro of my video. So um, I wanted to first say thank you to all the people who are subscribing. I really appreciate that. Never thought I'd have to say that, but I do appreciate it. A lot of comments, a lot of emails. A lot of you guys have reached out to me and say, hey, I want to build a pair of those boards. Shipped them off to you. Um, basically, I charged you guys just money to ship, pay for shipping because shipping out of Canada is uh, ridiculous. And yes, I have a Jack Russell. Um, so, a uh, quick part of the video. Um, 8 ohms, 26.28 watts RMS into 8 ohms. 4 ohms, 52.56 at 1 kilohertz, measured with the scope, the meter, and THD 0.03160 percent <laughs> at 1.25 watts, 24 watts, but I read it to 25 in eight ohms. Um, yeah, so I'm going to uh, take you guys through the video. I put it onto the scope, show you full power before clipping, um, input and output, and then I measure it with the QA401 that I bought last year and still getting familiar more and more with it. And um, yeah, I, I did have a problem, not really audible problem, but a measurable problem. When I installed the RCA jacks in this amplifier, I guess I drilled the holes just enough and they touched the chassis, which when I was measuring with this, creating a ground loop. And uh, when I was listening to it, couldn't really hear it. And I was like, well, I fought, I moved AC cables, I moved everything else. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to change something. I'm going to move the RCA jack off the panel and plug it in. Boom, gone. I'm like, oh, wait a second. Well, maybe my RCA cables are too close to the transformer. Nope, wasn't that. Tried changing AC wire. Nope, wasn't that. And then I just woke up and I was like, I wonder if it's my RCA jacks. And boom, that's what it was. So, fix that. Um, got it all tested. Uh, did all the measurements. That's going to come up in the video here. Um, one of the things that a lot of guys do is they they're measurement monkeys they want to see everything perfect well a class a amplifier has harmonics because it's warm like a tube amplifier you don't build a tube amplifier to have perfect thd numbers and perfect harmonics and there's no change in sound there's no like there's no quality like not quality but there's no warmth to the sound like it's not different right a lot of people like a tube amplifier because it has a little bit of distortion and it sounds good so the F5, my favorite amp, yes. Am I going to build something new? I'm not too sure. I don't know if I need more than 25 watts in that little room with my little red speakers here. I really don't need need to know. I don't, I don't know if I need that much power. However, I've thought about it. Maybe the F5 V3 125 watt monitor box. Do I really need that? I don't know. Maybe. We'll see. So one of the tests that I do when I hook up an amplifier to see if there's any AC hum and noise is I take this 130, 135 dB compression driver on a horn and listen with it up to speaker. Do I hear anything? Not nothing. Plain nothing. And it's whisper, whisper quiet. Like you hear like maybe a really, really, really faint. Like if you really stick your head in there, but it's probably room noise in there, right? So. Anyways, nothing me talking. The amplifier's done. Soft starts in there. I got a nice green glow on the front to turn it on and off. Um, I've tested this amplifier for the last three weeks and I can't find any issues with it. So I measured it. Here's the video for you guys. 
if you have any questions, you want to see me do any measurements, if you want some PCBs, send me a mail, um, YouTube at dashpuppy.com, and we'll go from there. So let's jump into some measurements and um, go from there. Okay, guys, so the amplifier is off. Right now I'm just going to show the rail voltage and the amplifier. So plug it in. Plug it in down there. Turn on the main switch. Hopefully you will see a light down there saying that the soft start module is turned on. And we'll go with this and turn it on. Fires on. So I'll start bringing the rails up to I think about 24 after it settles in in about two minutes. As we can see. Okay, so let's take this off. We'll connect this to our speaker terminal output. Right, negative, our scope. We'll turn our output down. We've got it set to one kilohertz here. Let's see if we can make this look a little better. There we go. Uh, we'll turn this to AC so we can see our BAC and output. We got signal. So, as you can see, we have out from the signal generator to back at the amplifier, we have a 200 watt 8 ohm load, simple, plus the scope. And let's turn it up so we get to clipping. So one kilohertz, two volts at one volt. So we can see we put one volt in and get 2.2 VAC out and let's turn it up until we get the clipping so let's turn this down first and we'll go to I think four five no eleven so let's turn this down so we can keep going six seven volts in and we'll go, we'll go at six point, I think six point five. Fourteen point seven nine V or seven eight BAC. So if we do the math on our trusted calculator here, fourteen point seven nine times fourteen point seven nine divided by 8 we get 27.34 pretty good I do see it's clipping a little bit hard here so let's bring this down to 6.5 we'll go 6.5 so we got 14.59 so let's do the math again 14.59 times 14.59 8 we get 26 see if that comes in 26.6 .6 watts into 8 ohms and into 4 ohms we do 14.5 times 14.5 divided by 4 we have 52 watts which is pretty good I'm pretty impressed with that so let's take the camera here off the tripod and have a look around. Okay. Go 
hopefully it's not too dark. How clean I've laid it out. We got our Antec transformer in here with my CRC power supply board. So we got two bridge rectifiers. They're 45 amp or 50 amp, way overkill for this project, but and then we got our first stage of filtering. So it goes cap across the AC, which is a 0 0.1 UF, 250 volt, way over, but that's what I had. First secondary is here, second secondary is here with our bridge rectifiers. And then we have cap bank. Hopefully this is staying focused. And then we have our final cap bank, right? And then we have this side so i designed these circuit boards so that i have left and right and it kind of worked out good but i think revision two is going to be a little bit different so it's a little bit more spaced out but we have left side right side fused so we got four fuses two per rail and yeah so as you can tell we have a f5 there with ixys output fets 1.5 amp bias and it's been running flawless for two and a half, three weeks now. I've been listening to it, loading it, turning it on and off. I accidentally dead shorted it to my speaker that's over here because of my crossover I've been playing over here. Dead shorted by accident, still alive, no smoke. I got my soft start in there, so now if I turn it off, let's push it once. So you can see it turned off. So yeah. Okay guys, so I have the QA401 set up. I'll move the camera over after. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a measurement and this goes 20 times. And then on the bottom here, down here, we'll see everything show up. And then I'll explain things. Sorry for the shadow, cause it was very hard to do this. I might take a screenshot of this and put it in the video for you guys also. But uh, QA401 is connected. And uh, let's try this. So we take my finger here, we push start. It will zero out and it'll start doing its um, measurement. Now at the beginning I had a um, ground loop and I'll explain that after in the video here. It's basically how I mounted my uh, chassis mount RCAs. But as this is doing its test right now, Right now we are at 12 of 20, so we'll give a couple more seconds. 16. And we'll push stop. Okay. So, oh, good old Windows for doing that, eh? Get out of here. So I'll explain this right here. We have a test at 1.25 watts, or 24 watts, into 8 ohms, and we are getting 0.03160% distortion. That's pretty freaking good. I like that. That's pretty good. Um, we can see our harmonics right here. These little fuzzies are probably because I'm very close to my amplifier with the QA401. It is very sensitive, so it's probably sensing some of that. And I bet you some of this noise down here is because of that um, soft start circuit that's in there. However, this is so low, way down here, negative 120 dB. You're never going to hear that. And the only reason why we see that is because this thing is super sensitive and it's very, it can see all of this. So I'm not even worried about that. Uh, as we can see, we can see our harmonics right here, right? First, second, third pretty low our one kilohertz um, fundamental right there I do have a 60 Hertz or a I'd say 120 um, probably because the transformer is close to the front of the amplifier but not really worried about it because you can't hear anything on here I do hook up a waveguide to this um, amplifier and put my ear into this, you don't hear anything. So 
I'm not really worried about it also. But here's a measurement. Let's take a screenshot. We'll throw that into the um, video and go from there also. Now, what else I'm going to do is I'm going to flip the camera around here and I'll show you guys how I have everything connected. Okay, so out of the amplifier, connected to a my still my 8 ohm load with a RCA with BNC ends on it right here and one terminal out of the BNC goes to positive so you don't create a ground loop and this one I've calibrated this one so the DC reference is very very low it's very accurate thank you for Stuart for helping me with that and uh, that's why I wrote on here left out and right in so right in left out as they were the quietest um, calibrated that I can do so as you can see the amplifier is on it hasn't been on long enough uh, it takes a good 45 50 minutes to become up to temperature but uh, I'm not going to uh, be able to tell the temperature of it right now so I have to wait an hour I might put that in the video here um, and go from there so yeah hopefully the video is uh, clear and uh, it works good and you guys understand it if you have any questions please let me know um, lots of you have been reaching out to me so that's awesome I really like that um, so that's what I've concluded from this F5 amplifier I, I, I'm really happy with the outcome and uh, so it's really all much I have to say. If you want me to do any more measurements or proof or anything like that, let me know. Um, YouTube at dashpuppy.com and send me an email. So I'm going to turn it back on. Got a ear song, I think, going on in here. Let me just see here. Let's pick a different song. Uh, this one, my favorite, Keith Don't Go. But you know what? It's probably going to get blocked because that's just the way uh, YouTube works. Let's push play, plug in our amplifier, turn it on, we'll turn this down, turn it on, push play. There it goes, it's working. So, questions, let me know. Sorry for the short ending here. I had to redo that because I forgot to push record on my camera. It's recording now because I can see it on the screen. I'm still getting used to this camera, so hopefully it's turning out good. And um, we'll go from there. The next video, I think I'm going to review this. I've got a little uh, B1 preamp that was given back to me. Actually, I shouldn't say it's a B preamp. It's a buffer of some sort. And uh, it doesn't have any positive or negative gain it's just what you put in and what you get out but your impedance stays so i'm going to turn around and start working on this video and listen to some music it's been a couple days and uh, go from there so thanks for subscribing i'm almost at 500 maybe by next year i'll be at a thousand and then uh, i can start doing different content but if you have an idea for something you want me to do let me know also have a great day see you later it's close to music.